Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today is going to be another unboxing day. I'm so excited for spring. I don't know if you are, but I am over winter. Literally, I wanted to put on a bright colored shirt because that gets me into the mood of springtime. Come springtime, new unboxing, new bag. This one is going to be from Atelier Auguste. I am so excited to receive this one. I've seen a lot of YouTubers review and rave about their brand. They were kind enough to send this to me. And no, it's not clickbait. <laughs> FedEx definitely stole my bag. So before I do the unboxing for this, let me tell you what had happened because it's so ridiculous. Let's get right into it. At Atelier Auguste reached out to me saying, hey, uh, we want to send you a bag to review, do an honest review, of course. Pick your choice. At that time, what I was interested in wasn't available. So I waited a couple months before they had a new release. When they finally sent it to me the first time, because this is the second bag, I was keeping track of it. I don't think she sent me a tracking number, which is completely fine. And they sent it to my Chicago home. It, is suppo it was supposed to arrive on the 14th and I was home the entire day ready to receive the bag, but I didn't have the tracking number. A week later, I was like, oh, hey, uh, I thought you sent out the bag. Can I get the tracking number? She's like, yeah, here's a tracking number. It should have arrived like over a week ago. I was like, what? So of course I click on the tracking number and this is where they decided to leave the bag. Some random corner. I was like, that is not my house. That is not the front of my house. That is not the back of my house. That is not anywhere near me, right? So I think it was like the daycare across the street from me. So of course I power walked over and was like, Hey, did you guys get a package? Of course they said no. So that shit is gone. Literally gone. I was so sad. So I decided to look up my camera on the 14th and it said it arrived at 11 o'clock in the morning around that time. So I scrolled through the history and the FedEx guy was there at that time. He literally came up to my door and then stopped, turned around and walked away with a package to who knows where. He was about to deliver it to my house. The address was correct. My front door had the address on it, the number on it. So it's just like, what is happening? I don't have any proof other than that video of what had happened. But from what I hear that people with DoorDash or other packages from Amazon or whatever is that, again, this is just alleged. I don't know. This is my theory. Some of the delivery people out there have people following the driver and basically deliver it, take a picture of it. And then somebody who is in cahoots with them, so to speak, would grab the package right off the porch, right off wherever they deliver it to, even though they have a delivery proof of the package being, you know, at your front steps or whatever. My friend has told me they, that she had something delivered. She ordered groceries. They brought it to their door, took a picture of it, grab all the stuff and left with it. I mean, that's so crazy, right? Like this is not acceptable. In the world of e-commerce, we have to rely on these delivery services to do their job, right? Especially when a bag is this expensive. Now, if it was like, you know, a, a $10 dog toy or whatever, I wouldn't be so upset about it. But it sucks for Atelier Auguste to have to send me a second bag, which they're so kind to do, which they didn't have to. But FedEx literally stole my package, if you think about it. So just Again, be aware there are new things, new schemes that people are trying to take advantage of you for in all kinds of different ways. And I, this is not something that I thought would happen, and it did. So just be aware. Keep track of your packages. Hopefully the, the vendors or whoever you're buying it from have insurance on it because this could definitely happen to you as well. But let's get on to the fun part, which is unboxing this bag because I am really excited. Again, you know, I don't need to show you. You've probably seen this from Paris with love. Um, they could come in this really cute dust bag. And what I selected is the mini Marley. Isn't that adorable? Of course, you know, I love my shoulder strap or crossbody strap with the top handle and the sticker still on this. Let me just take that off. And it comes in gold hardware. For those of you who are not familiar with Atelier Auguste, I know we've talked about unboxings and the brand itself, but just to give you a quick history, and you can find this on their website, 
this brand was actually started back in 2012 by two brothers that really love designs and they really honed in on great architect architects such as Le Corbusier, Prouve, I'm butchering these names, and of course, Frank Lloyd Wright. At least I can pronounce that one. I used to live by uh, all of the architectures or homes that were designed by, by Frank Lloyd Wright, and it's super cool. So they take inspiration from that. All of their bags are designed in Paris, and they are you know, made in Italy. All of their leathers are Italian, and they are part of the leather working group as a certified partner. And then just so you know, they do have a one year warranty. So I know not very many people talk about that, but I get into the nitty gritty when it comes to um, the details of the company. So this is super cool. This is going to be in the off white color. I forget what it's called. I'll insert it down below for you, but it is the lizard print and I'm a sucker for lizard prints. The brush gold hardware is gorgeous. And I love how you can detach the, the strap here and wear it as a top handle. But honestly, I would just always keep it on just because I like the versatility of the bag. My favorite part, and I know many people have raved about this, is the magnet. Look at that, how cool is that? And the bottom of it, it still has the stickers. Let me just peel this off. But they're, it's gonna have feet. Look at that, it's got feet. And what's cool is that you can see at the bottom here, they have the AA embossed into the feet. That is a really cool detail. Other places I've noticed is going to be Atelier Auguste on the hardware itself over here as well as over here. So those are really cool details. And then and lastly, you'll see the Atelier Auguste on the main hardware right here of the opening. The interior is going to be a zipper. So it's really secure and it's got more engravings here. So that's kind of cool a micro suede leather. So it's kind of like fabric. You've got an interior pocket designed in Paris, made in Italy, and then another interior pocket. So it's really spacious. You can see, you can literally put anything in here. And it's just a, a very simple bag. The glazing is really nice. I'm looking at it. Uh, it doesn't smell, you know what? The smell is not like your traditional leather. I will tell you, it smells like the leather has been processed and imprinted. And of course you've got the paint over it. So it smells like that, but it still smells really nice. So it smells like that. It's not going to be your traditional like box calf leather or grain leather smell. It does smell, smell a little bit different. Oh my goodness. You hear that? It's crazy. So I would, the reason why I gravitated towards this bag is because, you know, I love my Celine belt bag. One of my favorite bags is from Celine. So you can see the size difference, right? And the silhouette is very similar. The biggest difference I would want to say is that this one has a back zip pocket, which, whereas this one doesn't. And then you've got the hook D rings, I guess, for the strap to go on the back as opposed to on the top handle. Normally I would be like, oh, it doesn't have a back pocket. This one gets one point. This one doesn't get a point. I would say it's because this bag it's not a, as big of a deal for me that it doesn't have a back pocket because this one is incredibly easy to access. And then you can just unzip and grab your phone, right? Whereas this one, the biggest complaint I've seen from people about the Celine belt bag is that you have to undo it. You have to pull down and then unhook the button and then open it. So sometimes that could get a little bit cumbersome and annoying. Whereas having that back zip pocket is going to be much more convenient, right? Now this Celine bag, is going to be suede line. So it is a little bit heavier than this particular bag. And this is going to be that Safiano feeling leather as opposed to the lizard embossed leather here. Now let's talk about pricing. If you really like the Celine belt bag, obviously it's not 100% the same. The gold hardware on this one, obviously it's a really nice touch to it. And if you love gold hardware like I do, this is definitely a selling point. Whereas this one, it's much more seamless. There's no gold hardware. And then of course you got these two straps. They don't bother me, but I think a lot of people might find this kind of annoying just to flap it around, et cetera. And then of course, when it comes to the pricing, right? This one, I think they still sell it in store and they have it at $28.50. $28.50 for, obviously it's Celine. You know, $28.50 in this day and age is not like horrible pricing for big luxury designer brands. But if you like the silhouette, 
and you don't want to pay three thousand dollars just to say after taxes this is a great option this one hangs out around the six hundred dollar mark and with this design i think this is a great option as an alternative to the celine belt bag now obviously i'm a sucker for this particular um shape and design so i my opinion might be a little bit biased but this is super cute and it's at the $600 range. It's not going to break the bank. Yes, it's still a lot of money, but it's something to think about if you really want the Celine, but you don't want the Celine prices. This one is in the mini, and I think this one is also in the mini size, which obviously is much bigger, so you can see the, the difference here. But overall, I'm really excited to start using this bag as part of my indie bag collection. I can't wait to see what else they come out with because... All of these indie brands are doing such great work at more reasonable prices um, than the thousands range. So I hope you really enjoyed this quick unboxing review. I'll probably do a six months or a year um, review on this bag and let you know my thoughts. But this is a really light bag. Go check out their website. Anytime they do a new release, um, it gets sold out pretty quickly. Every time I go on there, I feel like everything's sold out. And I had one of you guys, subscribers, ask me like, hey, do you, why is it always sold out? Is it, do you think it's a game to create scarcity? And I replied, no, I don't think it's, they're creating a scarcity game like Hermes or whatever. They're only selling bags. They don't, they're not selling you anything else, right? What that really just tells me is that these companies, or Atelier Gus specifically, they make purses in small batches. So when they release a new color or they restock and they have another batch of bags that they're creating, they're not overproducing. Also, with big, smaller companies like this, they don't have the resources and the funds to just create, you know, 5,000 bags or 10,000 bags and let them sit in a warehouse like the big luxury companies do. And then if they don't sell, that could really financially detriment, be a detriment to their company, right? So that's why they do it in small batches. Once they release it, they make it available to you. And once they sell out, if they do sell out and it's a popular item, they can create another batch to fulfill the needs for the next uh, order. Sometimes they do pre-orders. I highly encourage you if that's something you really want, I would do the pre-order because one, it helps them out with funding the initial creation of these bags and you get to secure a bag of your dreams, so to speak, right? So I do appreciate that because overproducing in this day and age and overconsumption is a problem, right? So I do appreciate that they you release these bags in small batches. So I really hope that gave you some insight and kind of think through why, you know, companies do what they do. And a quick unboxing to a new bag that you might not have seen Atelier Gust and any YouTubers reviewed on. So life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail. I'll see y'all next time.